How should we as Christ followers in 2023 in central Alberta, wherever we're from, how should we live? Let me give you three ways that we could live that would make a difference. I, I take my cue from the book of Acts, the first followers of Jesus, who took these words seriously. We, we need to live an intentional life. An intentional life. We need to be people who know who we are. Jesus said, as the Father has sent me, I'm sending you. We are sent people. We've got to know that. We've got to know that. We're not just, we don't just have eternal life and sit around and listen to Southern gospel music and, and have nice friends and then, you know, have, have everything we need and then go to heaven and it just gets better. It's not that. It's actually about being sent. So an intentional life is, it's about living like a missionary wherever you are. You know, the, the harvest is the people you know at your work, at your school, um, on your street, in your apartment complex, the next farm over. That's the harvest he's talking about. So we intentionally live as missionaries. We intentionally pray for these people by name regularly. We intentionally look for opportunities to share the good news of Jesus with them. And it is good news. We live intentional lives. Here's the second thing. We live attractive lives. Attractive lives. It's Titus chapter 2 where Paul writing to Titus says, do everything you can to make the gospel of God our Savior attractive. Like, don't live like a bunch of morons. Make it attractive. You know, make people want it. Like, this gospel is good news. And what it does, it doesn't make you better. It changes you into a whole new person. And you become attractive. It's the peace. It's the joy. In spite of all the stuff that's going around, it's like, wow, I, I have peace. I, you know, our hearts don't fail us for fear when COVID hits or anything else because we know who we believed in. And if we're out of here, we know where we're going. Like, this is attractive stuff. Nobody else has that kind of life. But Jesus offers it to us. It, it's not attractive if you say, I'm a Christian but there's no change in you. It's not attractive if you tell people about the invisible God when the visible you isn't changed. Like, the question is, do I know peace? Do I know joy? Do I have an experience of a living God? Because that's transformative, and it draws people, actually. Some it'll repel, but most it'll draw. And it's attractive most when things are going bad. It's not a health and wealth thing. The health and wealth thing is, is got nothing to do with New Testament Christianity. It's, it's um, this, this, this gospel works when the wheels fall off and when you get a cancer diagnosis. It works. It works when you lose your best friend. It works when you lose your job. It works as you struggle with depression because, because the Holy Spirit is in you and keeps telling you who you are, and that he'll never leave you or forsake you, and you can trust him. We live intentional lives. We live attractive lives. Here's the third one. And we live simple lives. Simple lives. Not simpletons, but simple lifestyle. Simple lifestyle. We, we don't accumulate, accumulate, accumulate. I know people at my age, you, you wouldn't believe this. They're like my age. And they're still accumulating. Like, why? You're going to be out of here soon. Like, I have a daughter that um, she's single, and she said, I hate going to weddings. Because everybody comes up to me and says, you're next, you're next, you're next. She said, now I go to funerals of people your age, and I go, you're next, you're next, you're next. <laughs> um, but that's true. I know people, there's just two of them, and they're building bigger houses. Like, what's with that? They say they follow Jesus. Christians have simple lives. You know why? Because we're laying up treasure in heaven, not treasure on earth. And we know if we, if we just drive ordinary cars and live in ordinary houses, we'll have more time and more money to give to the kingdom. 
And we'll know that if God says go, wherever he says go, there's not a lot holding us back. And when it's our time to go to be with him, like it's just a win-win. So as Christians, we live a simple lifestyle because we actually believe that Jesus said the fields are white and we'll do everything in our power to be part of what God is doing. So mission is shaped by compassion fueled by prayer and results in a lifestyle that's intentional, strategic, attractive, and simple. The only question is, are we up for this?